Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here and welcome to part two of my rig rundown. Uh, in this part, um, I've already done the rig rundown, so I'm going to be talking about the different tones that I use using the combination of pedals that I've got. Um, and playing a bit. So this is my tone without any pedals, just straight into the amp. So it's a pretty basic clean tone. That was for both pickups on. I realised the tone control was rolled down part way, so I've rolled that up. Uh, I have a squeaky chair. Um, bridge pickup humbucker. Okay, now my, my kind of go-to clean tone that I use for all sorts of playing. Um, with a bit of rhythm all lead, uh, kind of bluesy tone. It uses the exotic SP compressor in loop one of Mini Effectors Mode 2. The EP booster that's in loop two of Mini Effectors Mode 2, and then the two carbon copy copy delays. So And then if I want that fattening up and my alternate preset on this patch, uh, I have set up just to bring in the catalyst pedal, so that goes from to that's before the compressor it gives me a bit more sustain, doesn't give me any more level, just gives me more compression, a bit more squish. Um, it's great for evening out parts and kind of funky kind of really sort of useful for that just to thicken up the tone. Um, but the, the modification I tend to make to my clean tone is just to put the spark booster after it. So um, if we go back to my switch to preset two.
secondary to that, I can then add the vibe to that. <laughs> And in this case, again, the vibe is before the compressor, everything else is after it. So the effect of the vibe is a little bit more subtle, which is how I like it anyway, because this vibe is, um, it's not that aggressive, but it does lack in control, so it's a level of depth control or something on it. So really like how that, that works. Um, then we move on to the, the dirty sounds. Um, and patch 3 is the full tone CD, which takes you from go back to the original clean tone, which is, as I say, the SP compressor, EP booster, and the carbon copies. And then go to patch 3, which turns off the EP booster, turns off the SP compressor, turns on the spark booster, and turns on the OCD. <laughs> And again, the delays keep out of the way until you stop playing, until you need them. Um, it's great also for that kind of singing lead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
slightly overdriven, had your break up kind of tone. Um, so again, it's, it's all about versatility, um, but never sacrificing tone in the, for the ex at the expense of versatility. And then I can bring on the vibe for that as well. When I bring on the vibe after the fuzz, I, I like to turn off the spark booster and turn on the EP booster and the compressor instead. Again, just to calm down the vibe, and just to smooth out the tone of it. I use a huge amount of modulation isn't, isn't a big deal for me. Um, you know, there's no string to it. I love the sound of a kind of expansive, clean tone with chorus. Um, but that isn't what this rig is set up for. That'll be what the other rig is set up for that I'm going to build. Um, so, but it's just it's nice to have the option there just to do something a bit different. It's very much vintage. I say everything in this setup is analog. Um, and quite traditional sounding. I can get the crazy stuff um, from other pedals and other effects. And then we have um, the final loop, uh, or final preset. Um, obviously it's not the final preset because on the Mastermind you can do loads and loads of presets. Um, you know, 25 banks of 5 presets in fact, and then double up with the alternate presets. Um, but I, for the most part, fairly simple guy in terms of my the tones I like so I'm just using using five with the alternate uh, and preset five it is the 70 fuzz which is um, very much more bold and strident if we compare the 69 it's much more compressed much more beefy sounding
fairly simple setup um, and all using a 15 watt amp with the attenuated term right there. So there we go, I um, hope you've enjoyed that. Any questions give me a shout, please subscribe, like the video, um, get people, encourage people to watch it, share it, you know, because um, it's, it's easy to get disheartened when you produce videos and not many people watch them and I really like it when people watch them, I really like it when people comment. So, uh, yeah. Please just just share. Tell people about it. Um, I I want people to come to my YouTube channel. Okay, guys. Take care. I uh, will see you soon.